All right, guys, we're here live at the Syrian Convention here in Washington, D.C., Saturday, March 17, 2012. I'm here with Rami Nakhla, one of the members of the SNC, the Syrian National Council. Rami, thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Actually, this is a great event now. We can see all the Syrian community going and rally. We got the sense what the Syrian people in the ground are are doing, how the sense of unity and this feeling, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Rami. Rami, I want, I want let's start off with this question. Uh, if you could send one message loud and clear to President Obama and members of Congress in the United States regarding the situation in Syria, what would it be? I would say, and absolutely, and I will look directly to you, you have the responsibility to protect our people. You have the responsibility, and so far you are failed to do it. Now, Syria is facing absolutely the most criminal regime in the history. They are bombing cities, and what you are waiting for to intervene. Actually, the history will write this down. We write this down under the profile of this administration. I, I don't know how you're going to justify it someday if, if you have the chance to save some people's life and you fail to do it. Rami, th thank you for saying that. No, let, me, let me ask you this. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the numbers. Tell us a little bit about any personal stories that you may want to share. Family members have been affected. Share this with Con We need them to hear the stories so that their hearts and conscience, conscience can feel what's going on on the ground over there. Okay. Like, absolutely. Absolutely today, like, as, as everybody you knows, the Syrian, the Syrian uprising started as a non-violence movement for dignity. But from the first day, the Syrian regime, they said it, it's, it's a sectarian war, it's an international conspiracy against this regime. And they start, from the first day, they declared the war against Syrian people who protest in the street only for their freedom. Today, today I think after one year of the uprising, more than 10,000 people have died. And more, actually hundreds of thousands have been captured, present, and tortured. So I, I, I don't understand why the international community today is, I would say they are in denial. They do, they still advocating for political, for political solution for what's going on in the, in, in the ground in Syria. But all of us know that this regime from the, from the first day when they start the war against their own people, everybody knows that this regime is not, is not going to to go just easily for political political solution. Today, the situation in the ground is is, is getting is getting worse every day, and uh, we saw cities getting bombed by heavy air Italy, and I don't know what we are, what the world is waiting to do. Are they waiting? Are they waiting, for example, to use chemical weapon, as Saddam did in Halabja? Nobody says in the beginning that Bashar al-Assad from all the, the diplomat I met, they said, no, Bashar al-Assad will not bomb cities, and he's already. We can see what, what happened in Baba Amro. So, he's relentless, he's a thug, he's illegitimate. H has, has he, has, have any of your family members been directly affected by this? Actually, since the beginning of the uprising, just a few days after the uprising started, I received a clear threat, death threat in my Facebook wall. And they said, you have till today midnight to announce your to resign from the Syrian uprising revolution. Otherwise, we will arrest your sister. That's what they said in my Facebook wall and in public. So I made it. I made it clear for them. Like I'm encouraging my friends to go to the street and protest for for freedom. And I know they might be subjected for arrest and might be killed. So I told them like my friends is. Like, uh, my friends is the same as my brother, so you can go and arrest them. I will not let your family as a tool in your hand to blackmail me. Now, I want you to send one message to the Syrian people. I want you to tell them what you saw here today at the rally, at this event here tonight. Can you please tell the Syrian people what you're seeing here in the United States with, this, with the American community? Okay. Like, absolutely today, all the world, all the world hearing you. We are hearing you here. The Syrian blood all over the universe actually, not this, just this planet, all of us as a Syrian, all over the world, standing one hand. We are hearing you very clear, very loud. We will keep working and keep working till we defeat this regime and kick them out of our country and we will go back to 
to shake your hand and say being congratulation. Welcome to Free Syria. Thank you. Ravi, we, we, we want to end on, on, on one more thing, okay? A lot of people argue that we should be intervening the United States into Syria for moral reasons, which is absolutely correct. But let's put that aside for a moment. And let's talk about the strategic reasons, okay? As one of the prominent thinkers uh, involved in the Syria uprising, tell us what are the strategic uh, solutions and, and reasons why you, the United States should be involved. Okay. Actually, now if we left Syria, if we left Sy Syria and Syrian people to face their own destiny, as we know, now today more people getting weapons, getting armed, and now absolutely the Syrian Syria is a rich soil for radical groups to come in. We have received many reports of extremist groups going into Syria from from all of from all the borders. So this is one side, and as we can know, Bashar al-Assad now is having defense in their area. So, and we have a scenario, a clear scenario, that they are working to create an Alawite state in that region. What what does Alawite state mean? It absolutely it means long term of civilian war, civil war between. I would not see between sects in Syria, but between uh, between Syria and the Alawite sect. This is one thing, and this is will change the map of the Middle East. As we know, Hezbollah in Lebanon, they will stand with the Syrian regime, with, the, with their Alawite allies, and they can take over Lebanon just like this. We all of us know that, know that. and absolutely this is going to change the map of the Middle East for long term. And this is will support radicalism and extremists in Syria. If we did not contain the situation right now, there is still a window, and it's there for like not short time, really short time. If we did not use the opportunity now to intervene, the situation would be disturbed for a long, long time. President Obama, members of Congress, senators. You hear it loud and clear from one of the world's prominent thinkers and leaders in the Syrian uprising. He's telling you very loudly and clearly and unequivocally, we must act now. If we don't do it for moral reasons, then we must do it for strategic reasons. If we say that we're going to fight terrorism, then we must intervene and help the Syrian people.